Good. Okay, okay. Welcome to the Universal Times panel discussions. So, I have a few short questions for you. Um, my first question is a very general one, and then we'll get into more specifics. So, what do you feel is the biggest issue facing the new office of communications and marketing officer? I think the fact that like it's just not been done before, which means that there's so much to do, but also, in the eyes of students, it means that you're put you're really put on the spot, you know, because yeah. they're probably expecting a lot from yeah. us. So yeah, I mean. I'm not sure if I agree that it hasn't been done before because the position is actually older than UT editor. I think the fact like now UT editor is synonymous with it and it seems like comms and marketing is something new, but you know, it's actually like an old position and um, I think the biggest issue that's facing the students union is probably the disconnect that between the students union and the mm -hmm. student and the student body. The fact that people are a bit disenchanted with it and especially the communication side of it I would say. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think, I mean, I think taking the kind of UT editor out of it and kind of relieving the comms officer of that workload w is what's giving us the chance to kind of rebrand and reconnect and yeah, kind of absolutely. just bring the union up to speed with what's going on. Because at the moment, I mean, we all know ourselves that just, there's just so many cracks that just yeah. need to be papered over, just need to be yeah. fixed. And so many, like, small issues in the online presence and the website and just kind absolutely. of in terms of, like, just in terms of solidifying it and stabilising yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. So what attracted you guys personally to this world? Um, well, it's it's within my experience. It's within my kind of field. Um, I've been working, like I've worked for charities. I worked for the Edinburgh Fringe, worked for GBK, worked for Promo, worked for Phil, worked for Shout Out in terms of doing their marketing and stuff. So this would be a brand or a company kind of thing, kind of that I'd actually love to work for because Trinity is somewhere that I care about and... I mean, I am a student at Trinity, so I also care about Trinity students. And the only other brand or place that I've worked for that I could have cared about as much would be Shout Out. Um, and I would put this on a similar level of being very close to my heart and very personal and very special to me because yeah. it's Trinity, you know. Yeah, obviously I feel the same, like that Trinity is something that I want to represent in I like a way as well as I can. And also, like, I think the thing that attracted me to it the most w was just wanting to like as a, have, being a student of Trinity, like having experience of the students' union, like not doing as much as I thought that it personally could for students and not communicating as well as it could, like I really want to change that. And I think that it's very much, I'm very much well qualified for the job. It is something that I feel that I could do very well. And I just want to, I just want to address the, the disconnect, as I said, and hopefully make a lasting impact so that the students' union can be somewhat different after I've left and hopefully better for students. Yeah, like I'd like to reach out especially to people like me who came maybe a little bit late to the game, who yeah, like evolved exactly. size up to now yeah. and kind of maybe saw the union as a bit distant and a bit kind of like maybe not as cool as the societies they were personally involved in. Um, and just help rebrand the union and make it just seem a bit more attractive and appealing to kind of all the students across the board rather than yeah. the ones who get involved as class reps on the first day of first year, you know. Exactly. So obviously there are, there are two sides to the new role, so there is communications and there's marketing. So um, when it comes to the marketing side, what are you going to do to help bring more money into the SU and kind of how much more money do you think it needs? I, I know the SU currently has a lot of money, but I think it's more about bringing in money that we can use better. So directing the money to the right places. So for example, I'll work with ENTS to bring in sponsorship for their major events. So with, say, sponsorship of many major company, the Freshers Ball could be a much bigger deal, could have a huge venue, huge act. Um, obviously, can't work at Trinity Ball because that's MCD, but what about the Rag Ball? I mean, this year, there's a great Rag Ball with Red Line yeah. and Opium Rooms, but um, no, I'd like to make that even bigger next year. And then even stuff like helping ends with Deal of the Week, um, I've got experience in that from the film, like just going around, knocking on the door of every business in town and working with them. And I know from working at GBK, how much businesses depend on students. Like they like all yeah. the businesses, especially around Trinity, will also have students. So I know kind of how to target them and what deals we can realistically yeah. get. And even just for people in James's and Talent, they don't have student deals in their areas. Yeah. So I'd like to go out to the business out there and talk to them and see what I can get for those students. Yeah. Just marketing the students union um to outside bodies in kind of just a more attractive way, like letting them know that this is what Trinity students want. We think that it's going to be mutually beneficial to both of us, especially Deal of the Week, because I think Deal of the Week has got a bit lazy in the, in the last year. Like, I think we should really be looking at it, you know, like more, more innovatively. There are, there are definitely new avenues that we can explore, and not just even lunch deals, but like 
drink deals and stuff as well and stuff that's like exclusive to Trinity students. I don't know if people like really do appreciate that kind of thing. And like Africa says, a lot of businesses do depend on students. So I think that if somebody, I know that the communications officer is going to be taking over deal of the week from the ENTS officer. I think that's a pretty good thing because of the marketing aspect of the role. It really ties into that. And I do have a lot of experience in sourcing sponsorship deals and stuff like that as well from History Society and Camps Resort. Yeah, and then for the SE more broadly, I mean, marketing officer can reach out to really huge companies yeah. and seek massive sponsorship. And that can help in terms of like student hardship fund and places where it's really needed. Yeah. Um, I've got experience in that from the field, like securing huge deals with KPMG. And I've, I'm currently working on a sponsorship proposal that could like help them do really stuff now. Yeah. So um, the other side, obviously, of communications marketing is communications. And you guys have talked a lot about revenue and convenience being a little bit lacking in this. Mm -hmm. What do you think is um, the SU's biggest strength when it comes to their communications? I think that at the moment, the union's biggest strength is probably the University Times. And I think that's a bad thing. It's something that I want to change because obviously, the now that we're having the split, the University Times is going to be a bit more independent um, editorially. That's a great thing. Um, it means that the union has to up its game in other areas of communication, like social media, um, like personal engagement on the ground with students. I really want to like completely re-strategize the union's communication strategy and not not make you just think of the University Times when you think of SU communications, because I think that is what people think at the moment. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think the University Times obviously is huge and beneficial to the union, but I also think that currently a huge strength for the communication side is people on the ground. So the people who go out every day and share the union's events and share the union's events on Twitter and tweet all through council. And they're the only ones who are helping keep students informed of what the union's actually up to. And they're the only ones who are telling the general public, the student population, what's going on at council. Um, so for most students in Trinity, they're only aware of what the union does through those people around them, through the hacks. Um, who are letting them know constantly through social media what's going on. So what the union needs to do next year is keep in touch with those people and keep that base as strong as it is now, but also to solidify their own social media presence yeah. and make that more attractive, more appealing. Um, and kind of reach out to students in a way that isn't too austere or unhip. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I mean, a huge part of my manifesto and what my strategy would be if I am elected is to kind of build that personal connection with students. So for, like, the full-time and part-time officers to sometimes be out there in the arts block, maybe chatting to students, becoming, like, more approachable than they are now, because I think that now the SU is very, like, concealed in House 6. I think people are a bit afraid to, um, to approach them. I just don't want it to be like that at all, and I want to make it like that for my fellow officers as well to kind of encourage them to like get out there and really like get to know what students want and give it to them. Yeah, I absolutely want to be approachable student. Yeah. I want the spots to be approachable as well. Yeah. Um, but I do want there to be other avenues for those students who maybe aren't comfortable approaching officers at all. Because most of the time when you need, say, the educational welfare officer, it's in a crisis. Yeah. And you don't want to go up to somebody you don't know in a crisis, even if they're in the arts block and they're hidden. So that's why I want them. That's why I want students to get to know them. Like I think there should be more know your union. I don't think anyone really does know their union. I don't think that's been really done that well in the last few years. So I have a few plans for that. Yeah, yeah, they do. They know yeah. it's supposed to, but uh, yeah, it's really hard to kind of connect people with. It's hard to connect every single student in Trinity with the five people. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. So um, good answers. Um, so this is kind of a, a slightly deeper question, so um, feel, feel free to um, just kind of engage a bit further. Um, Manny is the, the communications officer of Bonds on, on this platform of engagement. You guys have talked a lot about like engaging students um, via communications. But my question is, do you feel like the problem might actually be with the union itself rather than with the, communi the um, communications that you work as with students? Yeah, I absolutely do think it's union that's the problem. I mean, I've already mentioned this, um, but like I said, I think that the SU is very concealed in House 6, very, uh, it's not visible, um, it isn't very transparent. A lot of people like don't know what's going on with it. Um, and I, th I think that there's kind of almost an aura of complacency when people get elected. They, you know, they kind of retreat into that little SU bubble and they're not really then concerned about what is going on on the ground. And I think that's the problem with the union. I think that even if they do try and communicate with students, it's always what comes across is that they're, they're always kind of 
separate separate from the student body so that's what i really want to do is just integrate them yeah i think the problem a huge problem is that the union basically kind of rests on its laurels when it comes to getting people in they get in their batch of class reps at the start of the year mostly first years and they rely completely on that so there's a huge drop off even in the second term or first year for people who want to get involved and then there's yeah. a huge drop off in the second year up for people who want to get involved so in terms of just kind of communicating with them and seeing what they want from the union, <laughs> seeing how they think the union has failed in recent years. And there have been some failures, even just in terms of, I mean, we all have issues with ENDS, but we do, how do we communicate that to the ENDS officer? How do we tell them that yeah. we don't necessarily like his night and what we want changed? Or maybe we have issues with welfare. Maybe we feel that welfare isn't approachable enough at the moment. How do we communicate that to him and how do we help him fix what's the problem, yeah. what the problem is there? It's very hard to, like... It's very hard to get your opinion across to the student union if you're not one of the people that attend council every month and you're not going to do that unless you're a class rep really. Mm. So that's basically that yeah that's what I think we need to change is to give ordinary students like students like that haven't that aren't class reps or conveners or anything like that a platform to tell the union what they want because I think at the moment they just have no idea how to do that. Yeah I don't think it would hurt in terms of like we're all heading into like a few weeks of lecture dresses now, but I don't think it would hurt the Sabbaths to head into the odd lecture now and then and even just do a quick Q&A, even on paper. Yeah. But um, I think that's the easiest way to get on the ground with students because sometimes if you just approach them in a Hamilton or whatever, they might not want to stop and talk. But um, in terms of lecture dresses, they're literally in the room and five minutes out of the lecture, it won't hurt too much. Okay, that's the end. Good job, guys. Lovely. Very nice. Thank you. Lovely.